This episode is brought to you by our non-paid sponsor of Top Boxer, and they sent us a really cool discount for awesome subscribers. So if you go to topboxer.com and look at their boxing gloves, coaching equipment, protective equipment, apparel, and their custom orders used by champions around the globe, you can save 5% off any and all purchases from now until December 25th. So that's awesome holiday shopping from now until December 25th. Combat Corp 5 will save you 5% off. So that's anything and everything you see on their website, 5% off. Use the code Combat Corp 5. Thank you to Top Boxer, and thank you to all the people watching. Enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al, the Postmaster Mark. And today I have a cool video. I'm going to be showing you how to clean your boxing gloves and this will actually transfer into how to clean everything else. So I have four pairs of boxing gloves here. I have these Fair Texas, which are genuine leather. I have these, which are the ringside apex. These are synthetic leather. And then I have metallic leather and then microfiber or microfiber leather. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to clean all of them. Although really three of them are basically the same. Um, and then I'm going to show you what I do personally, what I think works best. And just to prove that I think my methods work, I have a pair of Pleto Reyes here that I've had for almost four years and they still look brand new to me and they still smell brand new, they still feel brand new, although they are broken in, but they still feel like a brand new glove. And I've had them since I was 18, 19 years old. And then I have a pair of ring sides here that I've had since I was 15 that are still going strong. And the only thing wrong with them is a small little cut there that I got because I snugged it on something. But the padding's still good, the outside's still good, and the inside is still good because I take really good care of my equipment. I want it to last as long as I can. And taking care of your equipment like this will add another year or two to your gloves life if you really try it and even if the gloves are ruined you can still put them up for display and have them look pretty so i purposely didn't clean these for the last couple days i've been using these i said i want to use a color that is solid that way you can see all the dirt and stuff and you can actually see some dirt right up here on the top of the glove on the thumb right here underneath everything right and this is a leather glove now, the reason why you want to clean your equipment, especially when it comes to leather, is because these things have bacteria in them. They have sweat, they have a bunch of things in it that are going to ruin it. Sweat will get into the padding, it'll eat the padding from the inside and cause it to break apart and do what's called bubbling. And when it's bubbling, you get these little tiny bubbles of the padding starting to break up and out of the, of the surface. So you never want that to happen. The other thing is with leather gloves especially, you see them start to crack, fade, and a bunch of other things. And leather, folks, is very important to take care of because the moment that is gone, it's a very expensive object, very expensive, expensive material. The moment that's gone, it can no longer be fixed. A lot of people will use the term, well, leather is a skin, which is true, but it's a dead skin. It can't be fixed anymore. All you can really do is moisturize it and then condition it. But the moment it's ripped, it's not like us where we'll regenerate over time. This will not do that. Uh, so that's one thing that I got to emphasize with these gloves. If you don't take care of them, they are dead materials. They're gone forever once that happens. So I'm going to show you how to clean them. First off, starting with each and every glove, no matter what glove it is, out of the four, first thing you do, make sure you don't keep them in your gym bag overnight because that bacteria is going to get in, rip apart the interior lining. It's going to rip the outside. It's going to rip the padding on the inside. It's going to make the glove look and smell like crap. And when you have that, that's most of the time your partners are going to be like, man, I hate sparring with them because every time the glove comes near my face, it just stinks. I've had that a couple of times. Even at my boxing gym, we spray our gear down every single time we use it, okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. So first off, don't leave it in your gym bag overnight. Take the glove out of the bag, open it up wide and let it air out in a dry room for a while. You don't want to apply direct heat to leather or any form of synthetic leather. And the reason why is because when you apply heat to that, Leather doesn't react to heat very well, especially when you have moisture in contact with this. If you have hot or warm water and you put it on leather, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. What you want to do is use non-water-based or certain chemical things like disinfectant wipes and disinfectant spray if you're going to use anything. You also don't want to really use too much alcohol because alcohol tends to shrivel the leather out and it also tends to turn it a bleach colored of white in certain areas and get rid of the paint. So what I use is disinfecting wipes and disinfecting spray. These are really the only two things you need and you do not want to do this while the glove is damp because it will ruin and get inside the skin. Now for leather gloves, I also recommend that you get either leather care wipes 
or leather care gel. What I'm actually gonna do here is stand up for a second and then grab a dry towel and a microfiber cloth. So what you wanna do is if you notice that the glove is a little bit wet, this one isn't, I haven't used it for about two or three days, you wanna wipe it down like that, okay? Just make sure that it's nice and dry on the inside, the outside, but make sure before you do anything with the disinfecting stuff that it's dry. That way, this will dry out naturally, this will dry out naturally, instead of getting fused in with a sweat. You don't wanna just assist the bacteria in making it warm and moist, okay? Bacteria thrives in warm, moist, dark, and damp environments. You don't want that to happen. If I've hammered that enough, tell me to stop. But here we go. How do we clean the boxing glove? Simple. You're gonna see the dirt come right off. Okay, let me get a disinfecting wipe here. All right, just take one disinfecting wipe per glove. What you're gonna do is start from the fingers and just get a nice circular motion going and then start wiping down the glove. And you're already gonna see that the glove's gonna maintain a new shine. A lot of people are thinking, are, aren't all the chemicals inside this gonna work? Are, are they gonna destroy the gear? Folks, this stuff is meant to bash people. It's not gonna go down, it's not gonna break it down any faster than bacteria would. Bacteria is harmful, this kills bacteria. The chemicals on the inside will not shrivel anything, okay? And you notice that the glove has a unique shine to it already because we're cleaning the dirt, we're uplifting some stuff, okay? Make sure you get inside the thumb attachment area, okay? Let me unravel this. Make sure you get underneath the wrist cuff right here. Make sure you get the wrist cuff itself. Okay. Perfect. Right there. Make sure you get underneath the fingers. Now you want all that to be clean. The palm as well. Perfect. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, why is the inside being clean? Well, there's a little bit of leather on the inside there. So I'm going to actually wipe that down. Cool. I'm done with this wipe. I'm going to throw it to the side. Now what I do, I take the disinfecting spray. I open it wide like this. I put the disinfecting nozzle in so it's wedged and I unload. And it gets all the inside of the glove. Now I want to get the Velcro and I want to get the other part of the Velcro strap, okay? Perfect, and that's gonna make the Velcro last longer too. Now, to make the glove smell nice, you can add a dryer sheet, open it up, put it on the inside, and that'll actually help the glove dry out faster as well. And then you have a nice smelling glove. But since it's leather, we wanna condition it. You already see that it's cleaner. I'll bring it up. It's already cleaner compared to what it was before, right? The dirt is all gone and everything, but let's make it look nice. Once again, you can either use leather care wipes if you want more convenience, but I like using the gel. The gel, for one, has a nice smell to it, and I use Armor All because it's what I use for my car seats. My car seat covers, I should say. You wanna put a, a dime-sized dab there, okay? Right on the inside. Rub it into the microfiber cloth, not the towel, the microfiber cloth, because microfiber will get inside of the material, and wipe the glove down and you already see just that front even it's even shinier than it was before and this is what I do with my shoes too it's like spit shining gloves basically you want to rub it down get it all on the inside and you're gonna notice as you're doing this your leather is getting softer again like it was when it came out it's gonna be stiff but you notice that it feels brand new the leather itself gets soft over time it's a little bit stiffer when you get it out of the glove uh, out of the box but it does soften up over time, but it just feels like a brand new glove, like a leather pillow, and you're gonna watch a whole new, completely different shine. The glove looks a lot better already. There's barely any dirt anywhere, and on top of it, the wrinkles even look like they're disappeared a little bit, even on the sides over here. There's not a whole lot of uh, big blaring holes anymore, and if you hear it, that means that you moisturize it again. You know when you're squeaky clean? That's basically what you just did to the glove. So the leather glove is now clean. Going into synthetic leather, it's really simple. You don't even need the leather products. All you need is a disinfecting wipe and disinfecting spray. All you do, once again, go over the top of the glove. Get in the thumb attachment here, the wrist cuff, the palm, inside the thumb, underneath the fingers, underneath the little wrist bar, Okay, you wanna get all of that out. Open this up, take the disinfecting spray, 
and then unload. Anything that's cloth, spray with a disinfecting spray and you'll notice that your glove will actually be softer on the inside as well, especially if you use the dryer sheet, okay? Now we get the dryer sheet, put it in. Perfect. I see some people use toothbrushes and combs and stuff. This is still a little damp. I don't want it damp, so I'm gonna dry it. Perfect. And you see this glove has a completely new shine to it as well. Not just because there's lights on it, but because you cleaned it. Okay, now I picked metallic leather, not so much to really show you how to clean it because I'm gonna be honest with you folks, if you see all the scuff marks all over, those little white lines, no matter what you do, you can't really preserve them. In time, metallic leather is just gonna to start to peel away. But one thing I do is instead of, um, you know, just doing the traditional, you know, clean it like this, I tend to use the wipes for these for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just because I know it's going to scuff away anyway. So I use the uh, leather care wipes and I wipe it down. I'll use the disinfecting wipes too. But the only reason why I don't like using a whole lot with these is just because no matter what you do with metallic leather, no matter how much you try and preserve it, it's going to peel off and it's sad. But most companies do that. Even some of the best companies in the world. So I got the leather care wipes i don't know why i use that instead but you see it still has i mean it's gold it's metallic but it still has a nice little shine to it and that's basically what i do for the for the metallic gloves uh so if you're cleaning them and you're thinking oh no what i'm using is getting the the paint and stuff off no matter what you do with metallic gloves folks it's going to come off but i do think the weather, the leather care wipes keep it in now with microfiber leather it is a man-made material for the most part and just like microfiber composite but Microfiber leather and composite still can act much like a leather product. So what I use, once again, is the leather care wipes instead. So I disinfect it the same way I would all the other gloves. These are the Hayabusa T3s. So the suede thumb, I would actually spray to get the wrist cuff. This thing has two wrist straps. So I'd spray those. But... Instead of using the leather care gel, once again, I use the wipes. Just because if it says microfiber leather or genuine, or, or not genuine, uh, engineered leather, use a type of, of uh, leather product because they're trying to make it as close to leather as possible. Okay, you can see there's like the little white stuff that's forming on there. That's just the soap inside the material. Perfect, same way. I wanna wipe it off though. And you'll notice, just like everything else, and it's not wet anymore after wiping it off, this is a real big proof. Look how much of a shine this glove has now. It literally looks like it just went through a car wash. So when it comes to any material that says engineered leather, microfiber leather, or something that's not actual hide, use a leather care product just in case if you want it to be a little bit more shiny. But most of the time what you want to use is just basic disinfecting wipes and disinfecting spray. That's all you really need when it comes down to cleaning any type of glove. I mean that because I've been doing it since I was 12 years old and all my gloves have lasted me well over two to three years, even the ones that are only meant to last for a short amount of time. I did a test once when I was 14. The gloves have since been, dis uh, they've since disappeared, but I did it on the cheap Everlast training gloves that you get from Walmart or, or from uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. And I actually tried that and I was able to prolong them for three years when I first started because I didn't really get into collecting collecting until I was 15 that in the ring sides were the one that actually sparked that so that's how you clean your equipment you can do these with mitts headgear cups uh, MMA gloves however it would be and just find a way to strap the uh, dryer sheets as well and you can use any type of product when it comes to this you know I personally like Lysol snuggle and an armor all but you can use like boot conditioner you can use shoe conditioner I know some people that spit shine their boxing gloves and it works just fine so when it comes down to cleaning the gloves folks just make sure you do it maybe every I'd say four to five uses or when your gloves are really just starting to rot and stink because once that starts to happen that is when your gloves are going to fall apart and when you do this without me talking and going in, in great detail, it takes a good minute to clean both gloves. For real, I mean, I mean, like if I was, I, if I'm gonna be real, there's still some leather cloth, uh, leather gel on this cloth. Watch, all I do is I just wipe it down. We get that shine to it again. That took a minute, right? That's all it takes. 
Just go in and out of all the areas. It takes a minute to clean gloves. It takes a minute to do this. And if you do it for your whole gym bag, it'll take up to five minutes. Just make sure you take it out of your gym bag. Don't leave it in there. Don't be the guy with smelly equipment. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you. I'll see you in the next episode.